Hi, I'm Eric Wallace, and I am from the Rocky Mountains in the United States, and I am here at uh, Pictura Eterna Gallery to uh, show and exhibit my work here at Brussels. How do you came into art? Um, I have grown up in art my whole life. My father is an artist and he started me when I was six years old um, painting in plein air with him. And I have uh, worked in oil paint ever since and uh, actually studied in, at the university and uh, I have my bachelor's degree in painting. This is your first, uh, first show in, in Europe? Yes. Do you want to tell something how it came to the show? Yes, I uh, started by a good friend named Victor Sanchez and he uh, referred me to this gallery and they decided to bring me here for this show and it's been a wonderful experience. Since when? When did you start with the figurative art? Has okay. it always been uh, uh, in, from the beginning? Uh, no. <laughs> when I was six I didn't paint figurative art. <laughs> but the interesting story about that is my father was teaching a figure painting class. I was 18 and he said, come, come study at this figure painting class. And I had never seen uh, the woman before. And so the model, she decided since I was so young, she was going to shock me. And, and she uh, had let, uh, when she dropped her robe, that there it was, and I thought, oh, now I have to draw. <laughs> and so that's a funny story. I was only uh, very young. But I did uh, start figure painting in college mostly. Uh, and continued on through throughout my career. Um, I paint uh, in, in, out in the landscape as well as in the studio. We take models out to locations that I have around my uh, area where it's a very a mountainous forested area and we go and, and work. I also take photographs of them while we're there so I can work later on pieces and then they come to my studio as well and, and we work together there. I don't start on a particular uh, part of the anatomy. I draw the whole shape and then do the shapes in between and get those areas. Sometimes it'll be the face that I start with, sometimes it will be the arm uh, or the hips or something to give myself a point of reference to get all the other things in. What I usually do for figure paintings is I start, uh, put a very thin wash of color and I let that dry. So I'll put that on the wall for a while and maybe get another piece out and work on that. The next step after that dries um, is to go in and get the figure drawn correctly and get the colors and the thicker paint started. Most of the time, I, from that point on, I finish the piece. Um, sometimes there are pieces that take a little longer, uh, larger pieces especially, that will take more than one day or you know months. So I will hang them on my wall so I can see every day uh, what I might want to do uh, and I can think of the process through before I actually paint on it. So I always keep them visible. I usually work on inspiration of the moment and uh, that means if the light is just right then and it strikes me, uh, that's what I will do. Um, as far as uh, plans for a future, um, I like to do shows that are figurative and so anything involving the figure um, is something that uh, interests me a lot. Uh, mostly, mostly I would say though that uh, it's a day-to-day -day thing and it changes every day what I might be interested in. I just feel one way one day and do another thing. You listen to music when you paint? Yes, I listen to... Uh, Especially uh, specialty music from New York, it's called modern jazz and it's not the old swing style of jazz, it's more of the funky rock beat um, that's, that is being produced in the clubs in New York right now. Especially in the US, it's, it's sometimes it's, uh, the people are like what we say in Europe, they are, uh, they have they are not so open-minded. In, in the public way. So, uh, uh, do you uh, recognize this as artists as well? Yes, I see that a lot. And being a, an American artist, I come up against those people all the time. Um, and some of them are very vocal about 
they don't want any of that around. Um, but I, I, I feel strongly that that is what I'm to do. And uh, I take that every day and work with that mindset because I don't think about people who don't like it. I don't worry about them. I just focus on what I want to do and, and go that way. Um, it's getting more and more open as people are more educated in the arts. Um, but there's still a ways to go, definitely. Uh, do you do commissions? Yes. Commission work? Yeah. yeah, I do commission work. Um, a lot of landscapes and a lot of figures as well. If people want me to paint a portrait of, of a family member or what, whatever they have, then I do that as well. As well. I do uh, several shows in the U.S. Um, nude Night in Miami and Tampa. I also do 12 Inches of Sin. Um, these are figurative shows and more erotic shows, but I also have uh, galleries that show my work and have me uh, come for an exhibit of landscape work as well. But um, just for me to do group shows, uh, I stick to the figurative work. Yes, I've been showing in, in several galleries my whole career, in fact, um, what, 20 years or so. Um, and they, have, they keep my uh, supply of uh, a stock of my paintings and they will rotate them through throughout the year and sell to uh, clients who are uh, in town to buy, usually in uh, like Aspen, Colorado and, and Vail, the snow resort, ski resorts. Um, you can see my figurative work at ericwallace.com and you can see my landscape work at wallaceart.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure.